A welder's resume. I was talking to a resume specialist yesterday and she's been doing it for over 30 years. And she told me something that I think that is very vital to our welding community, especially those who are coming out of school and who are building their resumes. She said, I'm old school. And you know, I don't look for much, but what I do look for is for a person to take the time and be specific. Don't just tell me you work for this job and you did this or that without diving into the specifics of what you did, uh, what type of metal you used, how y'all cut it, how y'all welded, how y'all put it together, because it might be a client or it might be something that we are looking at specifically, and we might say, hey, he got experience in this specifically. So don't just say I worked at this company and I stayed there for so-and-so, so-and-so amount of time. Be specific about what you was doing uh, on that job and be specific about what you was doing in class if you was working on T-joints, lap joints, bug joints, if you was doing uphill, downhill, if you was doing root passes, if you was doing open route, if you were using a backing strip. Be specific and tell these people these type of things because you never know, you know, but they really, really, really respect you just being more detailed. So be more detailed. Take the time because it's your life. Remember this. This is your time to shine, your resume. So don't think just because, oh, I don't want to be have too much on there. You don't want to clutter it, but you want to be specific and be most definitely keen to detail so that way they know exactly how to place you with their company. Hold on.